In the beginning of the picture of Dorian Gray, the readers introduced the Basil Hallward and Lord Henry as they are discussing Basil's new painting of a young man named Dorian Gray. Basil tells Lord Henry about how amazing and beautiful Dorian is, making Lord Henry want to meet him. However, Basil doesn't want them to meet because he is worried Lord Henry may corrupt innocent Dorian. That very afternoon, however, Lord Henry meets Dorian and, like Basil predicted, changes his perspective on life and tells him that his beauty will fade away. And also, Basil gave Dorian the painting. One day, Dorian Gray meets a girl named Cybel Vane, an amazing and talented actress in a pretty bad theater. They fell madly in love despite barely knowing each other. Dorian tells Basil and Lord Henry about the girl after they have become engaged and invites them to watch her perform. That night just so happens to be the worst performance of her life. It was so bad that Dorian savagely dumped her. When he gets home, he realizes that the portrait seems crueler and more ugly, so he tries to take back what he, what he said. However, it was too late. Cybele has already killed herself. Rip. Dorian feels terrible at first, but Lord Henry changes his perspective and lends him a yellow book about a man with no morals. This book changed Dorian, and for the next couple years, he lives immorally along with Lord Henry as his portrait grows uglier and uglier as he stays beautiful. On Dorian's 38th birthday, Basil confronts Dorian and asks him if the rumors over the past years were true. Dorian then shows Basil how ugly the portrait has gotten and then shanks him to death. Rip. To dispose of the body, he blackmails his friend Alan to destroy the body with acid. Alan feels so guilty after what he did that he kills himself. Rip. Dorian retreats to an opium den and runs into Cybel Vane's brother who wants to kill him. The brother ends up accidentally getting shot, which relieves Dorian, but also makes him want to turn his life around. He vows to be good again so the portrait can go back to being beautiful. After doing a couple good things, he decides to check back on the portrait. The portrait, however, looks worse than before. Dorian gets so frustrated that he grabs the knife and slashes the painting. Dorian's servants hear a loud crash upstairs, so they decide to go up and check it out. They walk in and find a beautiful portrait of Dorian Gray hanging on the wall and an old dead guy on the ground. They check the rings on the man's hand and find out that he was Dorian Gray. The end.